when it comes to choosing carpets for your home, there's a lot to think about. What style of carpet, what's it going to be made of and what's the overall look? The two major differences with carpets are natural fibres being wool or the synthetics being the nylons or the solution dyed nylons. And these particular products have come leaps and bounds in the last few years. Wool carpet is fantastic, it's nice and soft, but being a natural fibre, some people, particularly children, have huge issues with the allergy and dust mites that can come out of the carpet, plus it's going to lift and pell, which is when all the fibre comes off for about the least the next 6 to 12 months. So with the synthetic products, there's the nylon and then the solution dyed nylon. The best way that I explain this is that nylon is sort of like an apple. It's got the fibre inside and a coating of the treatment on the outside. Solution dyed nylon is the dye gone right through the fibre, so it's more like a carrot and that's why it's harder to stain and an easier product to deal with. Now that you've got an idea of the difference between natural fibre and the unnatural fibre, there's the whole style of carpets themselves and that's a whole other story. One of the most popular styles of carpet and always has been is the plush. Plush gives you that beautiful high fibre. It's lovely and soft to look at and lie down on and read a book, but sort of like a lawn that needs to be cut, the fibres are very long so they can flatten. What that means is that on a large surface area, or even a small in a bedroom, when you've got the high fibre, when you vacuum, tread marks, walking, you're going to see all of that on the plush carpet and it's going to be harder to keep clean. A great solution for people who love the feel of a plush carpet but don't want to have all the issues of the, the marking and the tread marking is a twist pile. So this is a raised pile but because the fibre is twisted it helps hold itself up. You're going to get that effect much, much less so that the footprinting won't show in the vacuum marks but still lovely and soft to feel and lie down on. The next style of carpet is actually a loop pile. So instead of the fibre sticking straight up, it's bent over. And you can see that demonstrated here. It comes in lots of patterns, but because the fibre's not sticking up, you don't see any of that marking. It's much easier to maintain and clean. And also you don't get obviously any of the cross marking from vacuuming, etc. on the long run. So it's also a really, really popular and hard wearing type of carpet in wool or nylon. So the final type of carpet is actually a mixture of both. You can do a loop and cut pile, so you can end up with patterns like this, where you end up with the loop in the middle and the cut pile, so that you get much less effect of this sort of marking on there from vacuuming, etc., but also the nice soft feel. The other combination is actually a loop pile that's cut and looped in this side. So you're going to see these are actually both loop sizes, but you're going to get a beautiful pattern in there. And that way it's easier, much better for commercial use and high traffic areas because you're going to get no marking because the piles are looped, dirt and grits are going to find it harder to get into the middle of the fibre. It's also going to be easier to get it out. So now you've got an understanding of the styles of carpets and the materials that can be used, the final decision is all about the colour. As you can see, carpets come in a huge array of colours. I live mostly in a world of neutrals because they're going to date better and they're going to go with any decor. For home theatres particularly, I tend to be using quite dark colours because you don't want lots of light in that room of reflection of light. But if you've got a fun room for the kids, if you want to turn up the volume a little bit, there's lots of colours, just always be aware with what you're putting it through. I hope that this has helped a little bit in your carpet decisions next time you're going to do your house.